Dear Ernest, working where you worked, I feel like I'm getting to know you better, even now you're away. I can feel the hard bumps on your palms from the inside now, and the knots in your back and the cracks in your skin. Through your eyes, I peer each morning into the black fire that miracles up from the belly of hope. And with your brows fixed expression, I grease the guts of newborn machines. In the shed at home, we have a plane you made for shearing wood. Maybe one day we'll have a plane I made in there too, though mine are the kind that fly. And I know they'll soar like peregrines because I've breathed more than sweat and solidarity into every crankshaft valve I slip between precision fingers. I've sealed each silken cylinder with package perfect flashes of the day we skipped on your old man. The smell of soap cutting through toil, my hands on the nape of your grin. And you'd never believe how brightly they shine, like stay bright shards of light. They'll dazzle that lot right out of the sky. So I'm staying on the bright side. I haven't let my smile slide. Your overalls may nearly drown me, but the sleeves are up. Picture your face, if only you saw it. And in the canteen, where you used to eat the jam I spread on bread for you. There's a poster now proclaiming, we feed the guns, with all the girls beneath in black and white and giggling. And I swear, we nourish them better than any cradled babe. In fact, I think when you come home, I'll keep on making aeroplanes, and you can make the dinner. Keep safe, forever yours. Dear Ernest, Standing where you fell, I think I'm getting to forget you better, even now you're close. In a French field, I look at a box displaying several names nestled next to yours, and you'd never believe how brightly it shines.